So the question says, how did you meet your husband? So I met my husband unexpectedly almost five years ago through Facebook. We met on a group on Facebook for the blind, like a friendship group, and I posted an article, a blog article I wrote about the bird box challenge, and I posted it, and he commented on it, and so we started commenting back and forth, and then from there, I think the admin actually said, why don't you take it to a private group chat? Just because it was getting long with questions I had about writing. And he was a writer and he was answering my questions. And so from there, we just started chatting through Facebook Messenger. And, you know, we found out we had a lot in common, you know. Um, we both like Doritos, we both love Jesus, and we both love to write, and we love dogs, and we just had a lot in common. Then after that, we just started talking on the phone, and we just really got to know each other. Then in 2021, I decided it was time for a visit after talking to him over the phone and eventually on FaceTime that I asked him, can I come up and spend two weeks with you? He said yes. And I also asked him, not the will you date me question, but the will you baptize me question. And he said yes. So our first date was actually my baptism at Grace Baptist Church in Pasadena, Maryland. And then after that, his father and Matt and I went all out to Friendly's which is a hamburger joint and Jack was our chaperone and we had our first dinner together as as boyfriend and girlfriend at Friendly's and then when we came home I asked Matt what he thought about the night, and he said, Amanda, would you like to officially become an item? And I said yes. And the rest of that is its history. And so, you know, if you're a single Christian woman out there, you know, I would suggest that you pray for your spouse every day. I, I prayed for my husband, Matt since I was 12 years old and you just get into God's word and you start asking God to provide you with the kind of husband that you desire and what God desires for you because your Heavenly Father knows what's best for you and if his perfect plan is for you to get married then he will let that happen and you will find the right person so you have to be patient and also enjoy each season that you're in don't rush it so that is a really good question and if you guys have any more questions please let me know down in the comments I don't mind making a series out of this I think that would be fun